Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. Um, if you haven't had a look at some of our deals and our specials for teachers, please go to the website and have a look. But let's jump straight into what we're going to do today. And we're going to look at the power of imagery. We're going to look at the power of visual literacy. And what we're going to do is get our students to start to think about photography in a different way. The way we can photograph things that are from different perspectives um, with different lighting and um, from different angles to actually portray different emotions. And so I've got a fun little character that I've used today, a little hippo, a little beaded hippo from South Africa. And I've started to look at how I can photograph these images in different ways to, I guess, um, demonstrate or illustrate uh, a different emotion. So we're going to use explain everything here. We're going to explore different visual literacy components. Um, and we're going to take a look about how we can actually do that. And I think it's really, really effective and a great concept for kids to get um, is how we can use imagery to, to look at different emotions. And it goes right across the literacy um, and the English curriculum. Uh, so let's have a look at how we did this. So I'm currently in Explain Everything, one of our favorite apps. Uh, let's take a look at, if I click on Home here, I'm, yes, I am going to save that. Let me just save that as uh, visual literacy. Uh, and let's take a look at Explain Everything and some of the new features. Now, if you're going to do this activity with, uh, with little ones, um, maybe it's time to actually turn and use the simple interface. If you're going to do it with older students, stick with the more sophisticated, complex interface. Uh, but this is the kind of activity you can do for both, uh, for both age levels. So let's, if I hit on the little cogs at the top, I can actually turn on the simple interface, which a lot of teachers don't know about, and it's one of the great features of Explain Everything uh, moving forward. So I've, I've turned on the simple interface. Now, if I go to plus, and if I hit my black icon here, you can see that my interface down the side here is completely changed. Uh, it's made it um, a lot more simple. Um, and when I hit the plus now, I've got a text box. Uh, the text is not separate from the ad imagery. So I can do a range of different things. So I might actually use that for this one. Um, I actually didn't use it for that mock-up one, but I'll use it for this one. So I'm going to put in a little bit of text, show you the text box. So I might just put in, uh, let's put in a little heading because uh, just so that you can see what we're doing. Oops, let's go with a capital letter there. So I'll go with visual literacy. I'm going to hit the the get rid of keyboards just so I can show you. It's always good in explain everything if you actually make this box a similar size to your text. So if I make it too much, you can see that it gets cut off. So make it get kids used to actually adjusting that text box to the right size before you hit the ticket box. I'll move that down to the bottom and let's bring in some of the images that we actually use. So I'm going to bring in a photo. Let's go to photos, let's go to camera roll and let's go with this one. This is the image and I'm just going to press done and make it a little bit smaller so you can see this is my kind of happy image and you can see here by the angle that I actually took that this portrays the hippo as a bit of a happy type individual so I'm going to type in the word happy and I've actually oh let's get out of that cancel that let's go to text box and just write happy um, and what I've actually done is with my photography I've actually tried to look at it and explore different angles that would make that um, a kind of a happy image. You can see that my lighting's quite bright. I've taken it on the side, so it looks like he's smiling a little bit. But the image that I took for scary, if I can bring that one up quickly, I haven't actually moved that image at all, but I've come at it from a different angle so that it's kind of a little bit more of a silhouette, and I've taken it from below the hippo to give that impression that it's more powerful and thus could be a little bit more intimidating or scary. So let's let's put in the text box there and just write scary. Now, this is a great activity. I'll just make that box a bit smaller and try and model the correct thing here. Uh, scary. You can see there the power of coming at different, um, I guess, subjects from different perspectives and how we can get kids to really think about and getting them moving around with their photography and get them to portray different images. Now, it could be in their narrative, it could be in their story that they're actually taking, but it's just a fantastic way of getting kids to think about how I can look at things differently. Um, but really, the subject has not changed at all. I haven't repositioned him, I've just moved the camera to different angles. Um, so this is just a fantastic way of getting kids to explore the power of images and visual literacy and how we can incorporate that across the curriculum 
and in different perspectives. Um, this is, I think, one of, the, one of the great lessons that you can do with your kids. Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly, signing off.